Good morning, folks. We've got a number of things to see today, but the big story won't be arriving for a few more hours. We'll check out some eye candy, an interesting space science, and of course, we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. It was a much calmer day with the active sunspot now departing. Minor pop south near center disk, but no CME present in coronagraphs. Hopefully you caught last night's video on how the previous eruptions are heading for Earth, with the first of those being the CME launched by the X-Class solar flare. As we shared last night, the first CME is coming this afternoon or this evening, but NOAA's model here is missing the last ejection's trajectory to hit Earth as well. They do forecast level 2 geomagnetic storms this evening when it hits, which will produce aurora but will not be scary, and we'll have eyes open afterwards to see if the second impact occurs or not. Either way, could be some lights in the sky tonight, and looking ahead, we also have a coronal hole stream on its way to Earth from these dark openings here. The earthquake watch elevates as we magnetically connect to them today. Up first in the links, we have PACE, the satellite meant to see details of the ocean like plankton, aerosols, and much more. There's not only the high-level macro details, but major zoom and fine detail capability of the craft. Can't wait to see some of the data from this one. Two interesting stories up next on unexpected space chemistry, one in distant galaxies suggesting they produced elements far more efficiently than astronomers had realized, and the second one on the actual stellar production process, where the elements produced are vastly heavier than expected, including up to atomic weight of 260, which in case you didn't know, blows away anything currently on the periodic table. Gotta love how they keep being surprised every time they look into space in a new way. Lastly, folks, dark electromagnetism. While this is likely in need of some maturation as a theory, as a replacement for dark matter, it gets my two thumbs up. For longtime viewers who remember our cosmology videos, we have not seen a paper like this in several years, suggesting that electric and magnetic forces are where the work needs to be done. Don't forget, all of our book PDFs are on sale for the holidays at the link below, and we also have some tickets left for our January event in Phoenix, a longer, in-depth event with special guests kicking off 2024 the right way. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.